What's up? It's Christian from Vision 6D and today we are going to split tasks. We were almost done with the renovation of the house. We were doing the facade when I received that letter from the electricity company in which they were telling me that in two weeks, one morning on the 18th, they were going to cut the electricity for the whole day. So, it's then that I had to talk with the different workers that were there and they quickly said that for them it wasn't worth coming, that they, they would prefer to go and work on other things because to come prepare everything for just a half day it wasn't worth. So we decided to skip the project for one day and I solved this with split tasks. Before to look into how I've built that split task, we are going to take a single task and look at how we split it. During the interior work, we had to do carpentry, plumbing, electricity, the tiles on the floor and the walls and the paintings. And I had the planning that was as such as it is here. Um, when we advanced, the people doing the tiles, they told me that when they do the tiles, they will level the floor first and then it needs to dry for 48 hours. So of course this wasn't reflected here in my planning. So when I wanted to do this, I used a split task. So I selected the tile task and here uh, within the task, the schedule group, you see that we have that icon, it's the splitting one. So I will split on it, you see, and here now I have an element that I can position where I want the split to happen. So they did the work on Monday and I'm going to split now. So we have the work, then we have those days, you see that it was by default shifted by one day and then there is the next day. So what I'm going to do is to move this on the right for an additional day. Like that, I have that time of 48 hours. And this is a split task. What you will notice is that the duration is still here, three days. So it means that the 48 hours of drying aren't counted into the duration. If for any reason you want to move back, you can simply click on the separated element and move them together and they will reunite. And you see, since we have automatic scheduling on, it moved the following tasks too. Now we are back to the facade. So as I said, um, I'm going to select here the, the first task, which is the carpentry on the facade and here I'm coming with the split task and I'm going to split it here we see that it is on the 18th that we do the split as the letter was asking us now to proceed with the electricity task I select it first and I'm doing it in a different way I go directly on the bar and I right click and you see here that we can have split the task I position myself on the 18th and here something strange is happening in the sense that it moved at the wrong place or it moved in the wrong direction. This is because we have that finish relation between all those tasks here which makes the split move backward. So I will move one day ahead So I come here, I do again here the split, you, you see, and I will go to the 19th. And you see here that it has correctly set the split of the tasks. So I'm going to finish now with the painting of the facade, where it will be exactly the same case. So I also do it directly with the right click here and I'm positioning myself to the 19th. 
Like that, we have now all our three tasks which are split on the 18s to have that electricity cut. So you might be in a situation when you don't like those dot lines to appear, so you can remove them. So for this you go on the layout and you see here that we have show bar splits. You remove it and you see that although your task has a split in it, it doesn't appear as such and you notice also that durations they haven't changed. We will now look what happens when we move a split task. So let's admit that the electricians in the end they said oh but we can advance our work by one day so like that we, we don't have that cut in the middle. So in order to do that I need first to select their task and switch it to manually schedule. Once I do that, you see that the color has changed and I will go into information of the task here. And I will say that they could start on the 14th, which I'm doing. And you see that when you have a split task, the complete form or shape is moved. That is to say that even the split is moved. It's not automatically calculating or having the knowledge that this cut is on a fixed day. So to change this, I will simply move manually now the rest of the task like that it fills the gap and like that I have the representation of what I want. One day the carpenters couldn't come because there was a storm during the night and somebody had a broken roof so they had to intervene. So in order to show this I can here again insert. Now I have inserted a second split task here and you can see that you can move everything smoothly as you want or as it represents the situation. This is called multiple split. This was it about split tasks, so if you have questions, just ask, comment, and you liked it, sum up. You can share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and for me, it's a pleasure to meet with you in another video. Bye-bye, see you soon.